So now that you know a bit more about what tense is and what verbs that you need to change to make the tense past, present or future, this is what you're going to do next. We have a picture here of a man sitting on a bench. Now this is just an example. I've written the same sentence three times but showing how I can change it to past, present and future tense. So for example, this picture here of the man, I've decided to say, I've looked at the picture, what's the action that's happening in the picture? He's sitting down, he's looking. Um, you could even talk about how it's snowing if you wanted to do that. But what I've written is the old man, oh, and I've got to change that there, I might just change that right now. The old man sat on the cold bench during a freezing dark night. Now the verb in that sentence is sat, and I know it's past tense because of the word sat. Over here, the next one, I've then changed it to the old man sits on the cold bench during this freezing cold night. As you can see, it's now present tense because I changed the word sat to sits. And now I've got the future tense sentence. The old, change that again. The old man will sit on the cold bench during a freezing cold night. So that's saying that's something that will happen in the future. So see how I've written the same sentence in three different ways, showing three different periods of time. You're now going to do the same thing with these pictures. So there's three of them that I want you to have a go with. So you've got um, a man and a polar bear. Now you just have to look at the action. What's the action that's happening? And then come up with the sentence. For example, the polar bear growls loudly at the mysterious man that could be your sentence um doesn't have to be you could change it to something else what you'll then do is you're going to write it in past present and future tense that same sentence and then you'll do the same for the following pictures of the girl and the birds and the giant in the street after you've done that the last thing you need to do is choose one of the pictures that you've already um, written about um, previously. So say if I wanted to do the giant, then you're going to then look at which tense am I going to write in because you're about to write in a paragraph. So I'm going to do the giant and I'm going to write in past tense. So I'm going to put my circle around the past tense. Then, on your last part here, I've got actually I've got to go back up to my giant picture. I'm going to copy and I'm going to put my picture here and I'm going to go paste. Now it's a bit big, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And then I'm going to write my paragraph about the giant, and you can use your idea from your previous sentence in past tense. Now you can choose any photo, you can choose any tense, um, and you can do it how you like as long as you're showing your either past, present or future tense. Alright, and that's all you have to do today for the writing. Thanks boys and girls.